everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar channel, and in today's video I'll show you how I use both Evernote and Notability together for note taking and record keeping. So I use two traditional note taking apps or products, Evernote and Notability. I consider Evernote to be my main note repository since it is fully cross-platform. So that means that Evernote has an app, in my case, for the iPhone, iPad, software for the PC, and a web-based format as well. So I can get to my notes from any of those devices, also from somebody else's phone, or from anywhere that I happen to be. My notes are stored in the cloud and they are replicated across all of these platforms. This is really important to me. I have over 3,000 notes and I refer to them pretty regularly. When I'm deciding which app to use for a note, Evernote is always my default choice if the context of the note will be text-based. Any note where typing is the mode of input goes immediately into Evernote. So I choose Notability only if the contents of the notes are going to include drawings or handwriting. So this also sometimes includes notes that include photos, since Evernote doesn't give you a lot of control over how photos appear in a note. So notes with drawing might include diagrams, mind maps, storyboarding, or forms to fill in. Sometimes I'll be typing a note into Evernote and we'll have an idea for a diagram that will make things a lot easier to understand. So I'll switch over to Notability, create the diagram, screenshot it, crop it, and then insert it as a photo into my Evernote note. Evernote does have a rudimentary drawing capability called Sketch, but it's a little sketchy, and it's not nearly as robust as Notability's, plus it's not very well integrated into the rest of the app. So by far my most frequent use of Notability is for handwritten notes. So I've attempted to type notes during meetings, but I'm not able to capture everything quite as quickly while typing, and I also seem to remember things better when I've handwritten the note. I don't have the best handwriting, but Notability does have a way to convert your handwriting to text if needed. So for important meetings that I want to keep, I select the handwriting, I choose convert to text, I copy it over to the clipboard, and then I paste that into an Evernote note. So I already mentioned my main reason for using Evernote as my primary note-taking app, and the fa that's the fact that it's fully cross-platform. The other main reason is I really prefer Evernote's organizational structure. So every note-taking app has a different way to organize your notes. So I'm gonna take you through both Evernote's and Notability's methods. The primary organizational unit for Evernote is notebooks. They contain broad topics. The secondary organizational unit are tags. So although notebooks are physical locations for notes, a note can only be in one notebook, tags are logical organizational tools. So in other words, notes can have multiple tags, which are all searchable. So for example, I have a notebook that houses all of my recipes. I can tag a recipe with a meat tag, and I can also tag it with a pressure cooker tag and an entertaining tab. That way it will come up if I search on any of those tags. You can also create sub tags, but only in the desktop version of Evernote. So those tags nest underneath that primary tag visually. They are not truly on a different level, but you can collapse them under the primary tag in the PC software. Generally speaking, I find logical organization to be much more flexible for searching and organizing notes. So the primary organizational unit for Notability is a divider. So this is a physical location. The second organizing unit is also physical, subjects. So notes live inside of a subject, which lives inside of a divider. You can move the note easily between subjects, but a note can't be tagged with two subjects. So I find this a little more limiting, despite Notability's good search capabilities, including its ability to search in the text for handwritten notes. Storage. So because of the reasons I just stated, Evernote is my primary repository for notes. I tend to think of my notes and Notability as temporary with just a couple of exceptions, which I'm gonna address in the next section. If I write handwritten notes in meetings, I either convert those notes to text and paste them, in, paste them into an Evernote, I screenshot them and import them into Evernote, or if it's a multiple page document, I may export the note to a PDF and attach it to an Evernote note. Or I could just delete it if I don't need that record and I've completed all of the actions in it. Either way, I try to store most of my notes in Evernote and keep Notability as a temporary note-taking tool on my iPad. As I said, there are some exceptions. So let me just walk through the kinds of notes that I have in both apps. So in my Notability notes, I have four dividers. In my grad school divider, these notes are temporary. They consist of notes for class or from my field placement. 
once these classes are complete, I'm going to archive all of these by either sending them to Evernote or deleting them. I have three different subjects in my home notes divider. Random, which has my daily schedule and everything else which doesn't otherwise have a home. Packing, which has my family's packing list for a couple of different kinds of scenarios. These live here permanently since I duplicate the note and then I check each item off by hand while packing. And finally, forms. So some forms live here all the time, like those for our mail away pharmacy. Others I just fill out and then I delete once I've submitted them. Under activities, I have some notes for my part-time bookkeeping job, some notes for my financial mentor volunteer work, and some diagrams and brainstorming mind maps for writing. Finally, under the music divider, I have general guitar music and chords and a subject for Christmas carols to play on the piano. So these are permanent as well. So then what kind of notes do I keep in Evernote? Ever my Evernote has six notebooks. In books and reading, I keep all of my notes on articles, books, TED Talks, and reading lists. In grad school, I keep anything relating to school, including assignments, class notes, information about my internship, and just general stuff about my school schedule. Kids projects contain crafts, games, and activities to do with my kids. I use this notebook a little less now that my, my kids are older teens. Uh, recipes contain just that, over a thousand recipes tagged by type of dish, occasion, and cooking method. My YouTube notebook contains the scripts for all of my videos, plus notes for new videos. And finally, Lara's brain contains everything else. How-to notes, lists, notes on finances, events, our cars, etc. So that is how I use those two note-taking apps together. I use them both every day. Let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated, and thanks for watching.